Florida, we have our fair share of wildlife. We have gators, snakes, of course, mosquitoes, and right now, love bugs. But the, for those of you who may be new in the area, don't let that name fool you. Love bugs can cause damage to the paint on your cars, and they're pretty annoying as well. ABC Action News reporter Wendy Lane finds out why they're popping up now in some places. Love is in the air and on your house, your windshield, and smashed against your car. It's love bug season, and for those who are unfamiliar or who have forgotten the buzz of Florida's most PDA-friendly insect, here's what scientists say. Love bugs come out twice a year, usually in May and September. They only live three or four days and spend most of that time mating. That's why they're usually seen stuck together. Normally, we see them in late May, but this year, they're making an early appearance. And biologists say the warmer weather is to blame. Coming earlier in the season, breeding earlier as Florida gets wetter and warmer. They also are attracted to exhaust fumes, and they hang out in swarms by roadways and interstates, making a mess on people's cars. Experts say a wet dryer sheet will help wax the dead bugs off your car. University of Florida entomology professor Norm Lepla says about 50 years ago, the love bugs that originally migrated here from the Yucatan were much worse. So we saw this plague arrive in a biblical form where you could not drive down I-75 very far without pulling off and cleaning your windshield. You literally could not see. And this was close to statewide. That's all gone away. And we now have what we call a spotty distribution. So some areas are full of love bugs in certain years. And then not so much in another year. The bugs are said to thrive in warm and wet areas and are normally out from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. And biologist Debbie Castle says they're all just part of the Florida experience. No getting rid of them. So it's a matter of changing how we think. Love bug. Yay. <laughs> it must be springtime in Florida. Wendy Lane, ABC Action News.